Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video in the Java tutorial series. This time I'm going to show you how to declare... Pff, whoa, that sounded weird. How to declare variables. So, you're probably wondering what the heck I'm saying because either I talk weird or you might not know what a variable is. But a variable is a unit of storage in Java. It allows you to store data, in which is awesome. So, how could this be useful? Uh, well, it allows you to save some data like a string or a number and keep it for later. And whenever you need it, as many times as that may be, you can call upon it and use that value. These values can even be man manipulated, but you aren't that cool yet, don't worry. So this is the basic anatomy of a variable. Oh wait, let's make a file here. So, new project. Uh, we're inside IntelliJ for the first time, so just do a file, new project. And then you should have the SDK selected, or just click new and then find it. Um, it'll be in your program files. Anyway, so next. Um, yeah, we're going to use this template. Uh, yep. And then, yeah, we're going to give it a name. So we'll say declaring variables. That'll be the name of it. And then for your package name, usually it's like the reverse of a website domain. Um, it's really random, but just do whatever you want. Do like um, com dot your name or just something stupid. I don't know. <laughs> and uh, so I'll put this, make a, basically just make a, a project file folder on your on your desktop and then put all your javascript i mean java files in there we'll set it here and we'll put it in this window there we go so now we have our thingy here so this is just the package you don't have to worry about that it really doesn't matter right now and um let's see so anyway so this is loading so it's going to pop up on the side here should at least and so we can start coding now. So this is our main method that we made last time, last episode. And um, yeah, so we, let's just start coding, okay? I'm talking too much. So yeah. So the basic anatomy of a, a variable is like this. So type, oops, type identifier and then equals the data. So basically um, the type is the, the type of data that your variable will be, which we'll learn about next episode. So don't worry too much about that. And the identifier is just the name that you want to give it. And then, and the, oh, data not date is the, whatever you want to put in there for that specific data type, which could be a number, a string, like letters, anything. So yeah, so let's create our first variable. Um, I'm going to use a data type called int, which stands for integer and give it a name of pickles. So int pickles. So as you can see, we're following this little formula I made. So type int identifier pickles equals and the data. Int is meant for uh, uh, what's called integers or numbers. So we'll do 23. Don't worry, we'll learn about that next episode, like I said. So throw a semicolon on the end because I said so. These are very important. So yeah, if int is gibberish to you, like I said, don't worry. Next episode, we'll be learning about basic data types in Java, including int. It will be painful. So yeah. So let's say, um, I mean, not that we have that, we can access it. Um, do sout as a shortcut and press tab if you want to print something out. And pickles. Oops, wrong thing. Let's not do that. Let's run this. Oh, we got an error. Oh, let's try getting rid of this. It's definitely not right, Java. There we go, so I printed out 23, which is our variable that we made. So that's good, um, everything works. And just know that you can um, redefine or reassign the variable at any point in your program. So it can be 32 if you want it to be. And if we run that again, it'll print out 32. But let's say we move this to after sout. Then it'll only print 23 because code goes line by line. So That'll be set to 23, and this will print, then it'll be set to 32. So let's run this. So it's gonna print out 23, like I said, because it goes line by line. So this didn't even happen yet, so it's not gonna print out 32. So let's add, a, let's add another uh, print thingy here. So we'll print it out again. Once it's been reassigned, then it'll do 23 and 32, one after another. So yeah, I hope that isn't too confusing. Um, so that's it, that's really variables. All you gotta do is use that little formula I gave you. And next episode will get a little more complex. It'll get kind of scary. And I'm excited. So leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, ask a question in the comments if you need that or need help or anything like that. And peace.